Good morning guys. Abram and I are headed out to do some errands. I have one wreath here to ship out. Typically, I only ship out once within a week's worth of time. But at the holidays, ah, it's hard to vlog and open up the trunk. But at the holidays, I make as many trips as I can just because I want people to have their wreaths on time for their get-togethers, their family dinners, and all of that. Oh, <gasps> thank you! No, this way, this way. Can you code do that button for me? Oh, they're closed? Oh my gosh, it's Veterans Day. Oh my goodness, I forgot. Seriously, leave it to me to forget something like that. I'm sure you guys are all laughing at me. Well, Abram, you wanna go get some lunch? I feel so sad for my customer, Savannah, and I'll send it out tomorrow. Come on. He loves it at the post office. I feel kind of bad for him. Just come right in, come right out. Let's go get lunch. Okay. Happy Veterans Day, everyone. I'm so appreciative for all the, the sacrifices that have been made, you know, that's time away from your families and your homes, your friends, and especially just wanna say thank you to my family. Um, all of the uncles in my family, like my uncles, my great uncles, great, great, I mean, pretty much all of them and my grandfathers have served in some way or another in, in battles and, and in different wars. I feel like such a dummy, I didn't realize today was Veterans Day. I can't believe I went to the post office on a day where I ha was having morning sickness. I was just so focused on getting this wreath out. So some of you guys like my beard and some of you guys don't. So I'm thinking about cut this side and leave this side, you know, grown in like this. Vlog from this angle. So you, the people who don't want to see me with all that hair on my face can watch that part. And then for the people who do want to see the part where I do have a beard, they can watch the next half. So I'll just vlog everything twice. So I'll just vlog everything twice. Abram actually just woke up from his nap. Abram actually just woke up from his nap. Hey, Dookie. Need a towel. We don't need a towel to change the diaper. We need, what we need is a wipe. No, no poop. As a nurse, I don't think it's ever too early to teach your kids about, you know, what the private parts are called. So I tell Abram it's called his pee penis. And Neil was like, don't tell him that. He'll keep saying it. Don't tell him that. I was like, honey, he needs to know what his parts are called. What is it? Pee penis. He says it with a little slur. But now he thinks I'm talking about like going pee pee. So he gets to, so when he goes poop sometimes, he'll say poo pooness, pee penis. So he's all confused. Maybe there is a time too early to teach your kids about their private parts. I don't know. What do you guys think on that? It's a very, it's a very sensitive topic, but here at the Semini channel, we're not afraid of sensitive topics. You guys know that. But I think one of the most important reasons on telling your kids what their private parts are called, you know, as early as possible at the time they start speaking, is so they can communicate with you. When I guess something's going on down there, they, they won't confuse it with like booty pain or just so you know exactly what they're talking about. It's a communication thing. Peanut butter. Take a bite. No, I like it. Oh, come on. You almost did it. It's peanut butter. You like peanut butter. Duh, duh, duh. Oh. Peanut. I'm trying to change these kids' snack habits. No. Yes, I am. Take a bite. Take duh, a little duh, bite, duh, dude. Duh. Please take a bite. Duh, duh, duh. Do you want to dip it in the peanut butter? Yeah. You want to dip chicken in peanut butter? Interesting. I bet this would be the perfect pregnancy craving. Peanut butter and celery? Where are you, Mama? Are you sleeping? Good morning, Ew. sweetie. Got you a pregnancy snack. I figured you wouldn't like it. That was just kind of Peanut a joke. Peanut butter sounds good, just not Take a bite, celery. see if you like it. I just love Neo so much, and I just love her parking skills. Look who's home from school, everyone. It's Elsa! She wore this all day long. She said she never took it off. I dressed her in her uniform. I even put like shorts on her. Sam did that, but we left her in that and put her little outfit over it thinking she wouldn't want to wear it. She's a flashlight. Me, try fly. Why is she in that? You had a hysterectomy. Annie, whoa. What's that? A surgery where they took out her ovaries whoa. and her uterus. She's probably feeling really depressed right now. I don't know if dogs feel like humans, but human people probably get really depressed when they have hysterectomies. Hi, Oyo. You don't like it? You don't like it? What? You don't like it? It's yeah, for her. Yeah. 
Oreo has a boo boo. That's to prevent her from licking or tearing out her Oreo stitches. Band -Aid. Pet Oreo. <laughs> he said band aid. <laughs> band aid? That's what I told him it was. Yeah, it's a big band aid. Oreo band aid. That's a she big band aid. Needs to feel love. Hi, Oreo. You How you doing, girl? Treat. Yeah, yeah. Yo, we're going to get our treat at Walmart, Daddy, okay? I'm treat. okay? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. We know we're going to hear a lot of suggestions from you guys, so we might as well just welcome them. Bring them on. What do we got to do for a dog who just got spaded? Spayed. It's actually spayed. I always thought it was spaded. It's spayed. Well, looky here. Nia got a red cup from Starbucks. I can't help but remind it of the blood of Jesus every time I see this cup. I'm thankful to Starbucks because I like to go there with my friends from church and drink coffee and, you know, study the Bible. And this is just such a good reminder, you know, why we're even able to do that. The blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Starbucks. It's Walmart time for the Raiders, guys. Oh, man, you're so dirty. That's embarrassing. He's usually not that dirty. He really is. We keep him clean relatively so. Let's get her some dog balls. Let's not do a dog toy because I think she'd be more interested in something to eat right now. Ooh, so peanut butter like... flavored biscuits wrapped with chicken. Sydney would eat those. I don't think we should get those. Mm, those kinda... Sydney, you're going to eat those? It's for a golden retriever, though. No, it's not. <laughs> for a golden retriever. <laughs> Let's pick one of these bones. Ooh. Are dirty. It's like a big jumbo pork bone. How about one of these? That might be hard because of her cone. Like, uh, like this size. All right, right, all right. More me this size. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I can't help but think oh, that is so... It's just too cute. He shouldn't oh, be saying... He shouldn't be saying it, but oh, I'm just... Dang say, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. No, we didn't say that. Oh, dang it. It's just so... What do you say? Oh, oh, goodness. Oh, he's saying, oh, goodness. Yeah. Oh, good job, buddy. He's not allowed to say that word. He's not, but it's just so cute. Oh, no. You little pup. Oh, dang it. Yes, hey, goodness. Yeah. We have some very special yeah, guests coming yeah, over tomorrow yeah. to our house. And Nia yeah. and I are here at Walmart to prepare yeah. for that. Very special guests. Here's some scalloped yeah. potatoes. Those yeah. look delicious. Okay. And I'm going to make creme brulee. Apple stuffing. For all you non-cooks out there, did you guys know that they carry super fine sugar? It's something I learned about while I'm learning to do creme brulee. I've read so many recipes and one person said, you should get the super fine sugar because it burns away easier, it creates a better crust. A thinner, a thinner brulee. No, yeah, brulee. Is that like good or gross? There's mushrooms in it, people are picky about mushrooms. You don't have to put mushrooms in it, or this one called skirt steak with roasted tomatillos. I think that sounds really good. These are Roma, I guess I'll get What are these? Roma. Roma? I guess they're just not gonna sweet. How weird. This is kind of ironic going over here the devil's pitchfork in the vegetable aisle. I bet somebody purposely did that. Came over here and put the pitchfork said, vegetables are the devil. What'd you get, Symphony? Red bell pepper. I'm get some plums while we're here. Michelle gave us a plum last night. Now I just can't stop thinking about them. Well, we only have three days to eat them. Because well, we're going to you know where in a few days. Yeah, we'll take some cuties. No, 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 not those cuties. These, this cutie. We want, I want this cutie. Yes. Are we out of cuties? No, we have cuties. We, don't we have plenty of cuties. We have one cutie, two cutie, three cutie, and I guess four cutie. <laughs> Can you open that bag for me? <laughs> Mia is not laughing at my jokes. Going to Walmart for us guys is like going to Wally World. No way. Yeah. <laughs> like no wait, wait. But no, I like to call it Wally World because we have so much fun every time we go as a whole family. When we go alone, it's just not nearly as much fun. About that. Um, what? So Sam has decided no more fruit snacks for our kids, so I'm trying to introduce them to things that look like it. Oh, good like idea, sweetie. Dried fruit chews, Island Trio. It's pineapple, mango, and kiwi, Symphony. Yeah, get them. Let's try them out. They'll love those. We'll get to I'm sneaking away from the grocery area while Nia picks out a side dish to get me something that I've been thinking about. Everyone wants to open the snacks before we get home, and I just won't have it. I can teach this guy some patience. I've been working on patience, and i got to get my son some patience, too. Oh. There they are, that's right, arrows. So as I was just saying guys, I told you we need to start teaching Abram patience, starting with not letting him open snacks at the store. I suggested to take a poll while we're in Walmart of like, let's just ask the moms and dads in passing, your kids were crying and they wanted a snack, while you're trying to do all your shopping, would you do it, would you open it or not? Just because people are doing it doesn't mean it's a good thing. But we can take a poll if you want. If you were shopping with them like this and they were 
impatient and making the trip a little harder, would you just open a snack for them to make the trip a little more pleasant? Or would you make them wait and be patient? I'd probably just give them a cookie or something to keep them. But would you open up a snack? I wouldn't open that up. But would you open? Yeah, would you? Would yellow. you open like chips or something? Sure. You would. Mm -hmm. Shoot. Hey, all right. <laughs> if they wanted a snack to make the trip a little more easy, would you have opened it for them or no? Yeah. Yeah. You'd open the snack in the store before That's you actually dad. purchased it. Yeah. Oh really? I've done that. Yeah. So, much. so okay, you have two kids. Your kids were once his age. If you were shopping with them and they were getting impatient, you were on a mission. You had to get everything on your list. Would you open a snack for them? to make the trip a little easier. Yes. Or would you make him wait? <laughs> See how fast that yes was. Do you do that already? Yeah. You do? Yeah, he actually had a, a little cheese ball in it. Uh, oh, you just keep the wrapper and pay for it later or what? No, he actually brought it in, but. But uh, would you open something I mean, before you yeah. bought it? Yeah. You would? Of course I would. <laughs> <laughs> I'm All still right. winning this debate. This is so fun. All right, appreciate it, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with this, obviously. <laughs> Obviously, Nia wins this one. You can teach them patience in other areas, but no, I mean, it's a good concept, Sam. Go Would you open up a snack? Before you bought it. Oh, such a quick yes. yes. Before you bought it? Yes. You what if you're trying to kid, teach your kid patience? You know, to see something and not want it right away and to wait till you get home? See, that's, I'm the, I'm the aunt. Yeah, so see, that doesn't teach. count. <laughs> Yeah, but what do you so. think from a parent perspective? What would you say? If I was a parent, I would probably make them wait. Yes. You say that. Do you let your kids open snacks before they actually buy them in the store? Well, my child is 21. Do you let him open snacks? Her? Her, yes. No, she never wanted them. When she was little, you didn't? She never wanted them. Well, good for her. You guys know that arrow that I bought at Walmart just now? The whole time I was thinking, I better keep a close eye on this thing because it's going to be very easy to forget in the basket. And I actually forgot in the basket. That went through my head several times, even while I was loading the car. My mind is crazy. I think I'm losing it, guys. I think some of you are starting to be right. I think I'm really starting to lose it. <laughs> you go, Oreo. Please tell me I don't have to spoon feed it. Can you feed Oreo? Oh man. Need fork. Yeah, or you'll need a fork. <laughs> or you Symphony. What? Or you'll need a fork. No, she does. How's she gonna reach her food? With the cone on. Can you get her a fork? Oh, you don't use forks. Well, Abram said she needs a fork. She doesn't though, because puppies don't use forks. Yeah, we'll just take it off while she eats. Oh man. Oh wow. Look at this one. We're in the lottery here. Alright, guys, I got my creme brulee going. Water boiling. There's the creme de la creme with a real Madagascar vanilla bean in there. Now I have to temper the yolk mixture with the cream. And you do that slowly because you don't want the, the eggs to cook. Now it's time to give this creme a bath. Can you guys see me in the reflection of the pot? Yeah? Can you? You just pour it in them like this. Did you see my Instagram post? Mm -mm. You did it? Oh yeah, that's good. That was his idea by the way. I stole his idea, but I thought it was an <laughs> awesome way of looking at this whole um debacle the red cup guys in starbucks it's crazy what such a big deal has become with this red cup that starbucks has made I just kind of can't make sense of it that you know it's actually christians that are upset about the cup kind of doesn't make a lot of sense to me you yeah, know i feel like they're putting like did starbucks have have control of christmas to begin with no like starbucks i know has never been like known for yeah in fact the opposite. Christian or anything. yeah they, they are I thought my cup was cute, and Sandy had gotten a white cup, and I was like, oh, I got the cute Christmas cup. I still think it's a Christmas cup. I mean, like, I worked in retail, and, like, there's always something different you can do when it comes to marketing, and, I mean, Starbucks might not have even been thinking, you know what, we're not going to have Christmas this year. They still made a red cup at Christmas time, and maybe they just want, like, a basic smooth look to it. I feel like it just honestly has nothing to do with anything. I don't think that they took it away because they don't want Christmas around. I don't think they took it away because they don't want... Jesus around. I mean, I don't think it's anything. I think it means all nothing. It's just they decided to have a basic sleek looking cup this year. 
Maybe. What do you guys think? Is Starbucks plotting against Christmas? Are they trying to ruin our holiday season? Let us know in the comment section oh below. Oh my gosh. We hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget, we love you. And remember to love each other.